Learn along with me. Hey guys, my name is Ritu Sachdev. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can control the width and height of your element by using a very important CSS property max width, min width, max height, and min height. Now to understand the concept of max width, min width, max height, min height, let's have a div with the ID of wrapper in the body of document. Let's close this div off. Now let's have some dummy content inside this wrapper div. So let's copy this text to clipboard. Let's paste some dummy content here. Okay. Now let's style this wrapper. So let's have internal style sheet with the style tag in the head section. So here is my opening style and the closing style tag. Now as we are using id as wrapper, so let's have hash wrapper. Now this curly brackets. Now the very first rule, I would like to give a background color. So the background color is equals to yellow. Now let's give our property max width. So the max width, I would like to give it a 900 pixels. Let's save it off and let's see the browser preview now. So this is what we have mentioned background color as yellow max width as 900 pixels. See now when I will try to collapse my browser's window, this is what 900 pixels is. This is what maximum width is. When I will go below the 900 pixels, see, this page is behaving responsive. I mean the text is not cutting off there. As the maximum width is 800 pixels, there is no limitations for the minimum width. For minimum, it will go till the end. For a second, let's make it only width 900 pixels so that you can compare both of these things. Now let's refresh. You see when I'm collapsing it more and more, when I will go below 900 pixels, this text is cutting off. There is no scrolling here on the right side. But I will make it again as max width. Save it off. Now let's refresh this page here. You see I have this scrolling bar here and the text is adjusted. If I will collapse it more, this scrolling bar will increase and we can scroll this more and the text is adjusting again and again. This is what we are saying our wrapper div have the maximum width as 900 pixels. Now, what if I will say it minimum width. Let's have minimum width as 400 pixels. Let's save it off. And let's refresh this page. Now if I will collapse, see there will be a breakpoint. Here we go. You can see scrolling bar on both of the sides. Here on the top and here on the bottom and text is also cutting off here. This is the point where we have our width less than 400 pixels. We are saying Behave responsive, have your minimum width till the 400 pixels. So we are having limitations here. After this range, the text is cutted off. This is our breakpoint.
right now let's have our max height now i want to have max height as suppose 200 pixels let's save it off and let's refresh you see the text is coming out of this wrapper div as we are limiting our wrapper div to this range the maximum height is 200 pixels now if i will say it instead of max height i will mention min height let's save it off and let's see what happens let's refresh see the text is adjusted as i'm saying my wrapper div now have your minimum height as 200 pixels and no limitations for the maximum thing so the text is adjusted here even though if i will have some more text here like let's copy this whole junk of text and let's paste it here again let's save it off and let's refresh see the text is adjusted again as we have said minimum height as 200 pixels but what if i will say max height as 1000 pixels or say 800 pixels let's save it off and let's see the preview see there is no change because we are having text less than this range 800 pixels so but when i will try to collapse my browser's window see there will be a point when text will come out of this wrapper div as again we are bounding it in this maximum height when i will maximize my browser again you can see no effect is there but here we can easily notice the difference and again if i will remove this property save it off and refresh this page you see text is adjusted as again i am saying it as min height as 200 pixels so this is how you can control your elements using max width min width max height and min height So this is done friends and if you like this video of mine, do thumbs it up, do not forget to subscribe me and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. Have a good day. Bye bye.